You guys, the time has come. What I have been fearing most in my business has happened to me. <gasps> oh my God. My melter just crapped out. It died. It's, I had it on this morning. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, breathe, just breathe. I turned on my melter this morning and I'm like, let me get, let me get started on this wholesale order. I turn on the nozzle, nothing happens. I open this and I'm like, what the hell's going on? It's been on for like five hours and it's not hot. Check the plug, check the outlet, everything. I don't know what's going on. I think the base is crapped out. Thank you God that I kept my smaller pot because if not, I would be fulfilling wholesale orders the old school way with the double boiler system in, on the stove. And now we're back to this. Yep, this is what we're using. So I have it on, I heated it up because I was using some, I was playing around with um, some coconut wax and I need to clean that out so I can use my other wax. Oh my God, I can't even deal right now. Anyway, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're using this. It's gonna take me a hell of a long time, but not as long as it would have been if I would have used the other um, double boiler system. So this is what we're doing and I'm keeping calm. What I didn't film was me freaking out. Yeah. Anyway, we've started labeling these. Look how pretty. I love it. But yeah, we need to get done with this so I can get that out the way, get started with wholesale orders because Lord knows how long it's gonna take me to do anything with this guy. <music> Okay, so we're doing the best we can with what we have right now. I'm still using this little pot to try to fulfill this small little um, wholesale order. I have 48 mini candles that I need to make. I have two pouring pitchers ready to go for this, but I probably need to make one or two more. It's taking a little bit longer, but it's doable. I forgot how much I actually enjoyed using this little pot because it heats up pretty fast because obviously there's not as much wax in this one than in that one. But um, yeah, it's happening. And someone actually asked me in the comments why I have so many pouring pitchers. And it's for situations like this where I'm making these 48 candles. So I have those um, ready to be poured in here. I have smaller little batches of um, wax cooling because I'm working on a much smaller order. So I try to make my candles in bulk as much as I can, but there's some times where people buy one-off things that I don't have in stock and I need to make them. So in those situations, this is how I'm using all of my pouring pitchers. Um, I have an amber jar sale going on strong right now on the website where they can take any of my fragrances and put them in my amber jars because we're getting rid of these and we're using a new jar for the destination collection. So yep, that's what's going on. I have my replacement melter coming soon. It should be here by Monday, but I couldn't wait to do these because these have to go out by Monday. So we are getting things done. So I can't believe how fast my new wax melter got here because you know this one broke. So what actually died on this is the bottom um, heating piece. So what I'm going to do, since I have a bunch of wax still in here, um, and I was crying thinking about having to dig all this out, to put it in my Presto pot. But what I'm gonna do is use this new base and put it on this tank so that I can melt it and then pour it into the new one or actually just use this one. Um, but then I wanna try to find a replacement bottom piece. So this way I can actually have two big melters in case anything ever happens. Right now I only need one. I don't really need two big ones going at the same time, but it doesn't hurt to have two, um, which is why I'm so grateful that I still hold on to this because I have no idea how I would have gotten through all of the orders that I did this past weekend for the warehouse sale. So I have a lot of sales going for that and things that I needed to make. And yeah, I'm glad I still have that. So I'm super excited. I'm just going to put it together. It's actually already together. Um, I just need to put the handle on here and the little spout and that's it. So you can get this in my Amazon storefront, but it doesn't come with this spout, a spout, I'm call this a spout, whatever, you know what I mean. It doesn't come with this. So you actually have to switch it out yourself um, or you can buy it from someone who does it already. But if you buy it off of Amazon, it comes with this plastic little spout. What do you call this, a spout? Yeah, it's a spout. 
So when it comes with the plastic one, you have to switch it to a metal piece if you're using this for wax. Um, if you're using this for like lotions and things like that, I have no idea if you can still use it with the plastic, but yeah, I don't know because I don't make lotions, but if somebody else does and you guys know whether or not you can use it with the plastic, go ahead and comment down below. freaking tools that are like twice the size of what I need. So I use this thing. You're joking. What? Pliers. <laughs> I just feel like you can make it tight and go like that. Shit. Listen, man. This is DIY world. It's Wait. not DIY, it's yeah. DIY dumb. <laughs> Listen, we got to learn how to use things for multiple purposes. That's good. Yay. So now, can you help me lift, lift this thing and put it on this so we can melt it? Yeah. Right? So we got the new base, old wax melter. It's on. We're just gonna melt this. Hopefully it does work. I feel like it's getting hot. Already. Change of plans. We took the old pot off of the new bottom piece because it wasn't even heating up at all. Like it was heating, it was on for like 15, 20 minutes and it wasn't even getting hot. So what I think the problem was actually with these, let me see if I can show you, with these little tongues that are down there, I think maybe those short circuited and it doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna have some fun with this, trying to chip out this wax to put it in the new belter. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, it's kind of soft. I don't know why I thought it was harder. Okay, so that might be a little fun. Not really. Um, so yeah, I put this one on here and I put a little bit of wax and look, see, it's melting already. So maybe it wasn't the bottom that was messed up. It was the top, which is interesting. Okay. Okay, so I accidentally put the bag of wax inside the melter while it was still hot and that's why there's like blue bits of plastic floating around. So I'm gonna have to throw all of this wax out. Thankfully it wasn't too much, but yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I'm on a roll. But it's like therapeutic though, right? No, this is nothing therapeutic. Oh my God, this is gonna be... It's gonna be a process. Yeah, it really is. Even then, I thought it was gonna like lift out pretty easy. It's yeah, like, you're probably gonna bend the knife. We need like a, a metal spoon. Yes. At least you can get in there, like chop it up like that. I think it'll be easier if it's in bigger blocks, right? Yep. All right, so this is the progress I've made. This was full of wax, probably up to like here. I've been trying to like chip away at this, filling up the pitcher, and then slowly pouring it in here so that it's not splashing up in my face. Um, so I figured out that the base wasn't the problem. I think it was the prongs from the melter that are supposed to go into these little holes. I think they short circuited or something, I don't know, but this is actually the problem. It's not the base. So I thought I could get like another base and easily just swap it out. But if this is the thing that's giving me the drama, then I don't know if I'm able to buy like a whole nother thing. So. I don't know, I'll probably still hold on to this and just see if someone knows how to hack it and fix it. So this way I can have two. But in the meantime, I'm glad, I'm so grateful that I have another one and it arrived early. And I'm just gonna keep digging away at this and trying to fill it in there because we are not wasting wax, of course. All right, 
so one of my followers on Instagram suggested that we remove the black bottom piece so that we can stick the whole thing in the oven, heat it up, and get the wax out. Um, obviously, this is plastic. The handles are plastic, so we just have to kind of take that off before we put it in there. But I think that might work. Oh, and look at this part. You see how this plate is lifted up? We think that's the reason why it stopped working and we just figured it out now since we turned it upside down. The only thing I'm scared about is I don't know if these things can go in the oven. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to blow up. You know what I mean? So yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. I don't know what we're going to do. What are you doing with this thing? I'm going to break it. <laughs> okay. So I just got home from a really long day at work and I'm so exhausted, but happy because Peter did his thing and took the wax out of the old wax melter. Let me show you what he did. So basically he filled up the sink with super hot water. He put the melter inside and you let it sit for how long? Not that long, it started melting pretty quick. Really? Yeah. Okay. So hot. yeah, Long Island hot water is super hot. Like you can get like first degree burns on that. Yeah. <laughs> so basically he did that and he was able to slip it right out. He put it upside down. This is the wax right now. He put it into this plastic bag and as soon as it cools, I'll be able to chop it up into little pieces and put it into my other um, wax melter. And you guys came up with some really great tips on IG. If you're not following me on Instagram, do that now. Um, a lot of people were like, just heat up the sides with uh, the heat gun, but I know that was gonna take a long time. A lot of you guys were like, place it outside. You know, because we were having that really bad um, heat wave. Heat wave. Um, Don't forget Dylan from Wyoming. He said flamethrower. Flamethrower. Somebody suggested it, blowing it with a flamethrower. Oh, so you really did? I said that as a joke. No, no. Somebody really did suggest that. Yeah, no, that was actually Maria. <laughs> um, anyway, so yay, it's out. And we can see that it's burnt on the inside. I guess that's what caused it to pop. If you remember in the earlier clips, I showed the bottom piece, it was lifted up. So maybe that's what caused it. I don't know. So anyway, that is out and I'm super happy that this whole saga of the broken wax melter is over. Oh my God, this is so easy to cut actually. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be so much harder. Yay. Woo! That was scary. I'm not gonna put more cause it's gonna melt and probably go higher, right? Yeah. Or maybe I'll just put a little piece, another little piece. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the iceberg that's on the Titanic. <laughs> you crazy. That's too much? I mean, oh. too late, go. Oh, I already... Too yeah. late? Oh, you crazy. Oh, you crazy girl. no. It's too much? That's scary. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. No, nah, I mean, it shouldn't overflow. Okay. 